All right, this is second grade, module three, lesson nine. And in this lesson, we're going to continue using dollar bills to understand the place value. And we're going to be connecting the dollar bills, uh, which is kind of a concrete uh, idea, to place value. And then also we're going to be finally introducing the empty number line, which is a really cool way of demonstrating how we move from how we locate numbers on a number line and how we move from one number to the next. It's a really useful tool. Uh, as a second grade teacher, you're really going to want our students to eventually learn how to use the empty number line. This is an essential tool as we moved into third and fourth and fifth grade. So this empty number line is absolutely not a negotiable item. <laughs> we definitely want to learn it. We're going to begin just talking about dollar bills. We're not going to <clears throat> be seeing the empty number line quite yet. But let's begin. It says, you know, write the total amount. Now I'm going to skip all the way to D. And the idea is let's look at D and let's begin by looking at all the hundreds. So there we go. There's our hundreds. And we can see that we have five hundred dollar bills. We have three ten dollar bills. And we have two $1 bills. So if we put all of that together, we can see that we have $532. And in fact, that's exactly how I would count it up. I would uh, grab all of our like um, denominations. Like, you find all the hundreds, add them up. Find all the tens, add them up. Find all the ones, add them up. And that gives us a nice, quick, efficient way of counting the total. And the last slide for this video is show one way to count from 82 to 512. Now, if we wanted to, we could use a, an empty number line. And that empty number line could look like this. So 82 to 512. And we could say, well, let's go up 6. No, sorry up 8, that gets us to 90, there's a nice landmark number. We can go up 10, that gets us to 100. We can go up 400, that puts us at 500. Then we can go up 10, that puts us at 510. And then we can go, this last little hop would be 2. And so there's our the way we're doing it right there. Now that's the empty number line. I believe for this problem, really what they're expecting us to do is to count. So essentially they're saying, let's start with 82 and say, well, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, and then 90 up to 100. And then we can start over here and go to 200, 300, 400, 500, and then we could go up to 510, and then 511, 512. I, I think this is really what they're looking for in terms of counting, <coughs> but you can see that a number line is essentially the same kind of thing, but a whole lot less work. Now here it says, use these two number lines to show a different way to count from 580 to 994. So the idea would be, uh, we have 580 right here, we have 994 right here, and we are going to make a series of hops from 580 to 994. Now the cool thing about the empty number line is this is not um, proportional. So your hops do not have to represent, um, you know, they don't have to be in proportion to one another. For example, uh, let's see, let's do it in red. Um, we could go from 580 to 600. So we're going to add 20 here, and that gets us to 600. And that's a nice landmark number or benchmark number. So there's our 600. <clears throat> and then if we wanted to, we could go from 600, we could go up 300. You can add 300 uh, to 900, and that gets us to 900. And then if we wanted to, we could um, 
do another 90, add 90, that puts us at 990, and then we can go another 4, and I'm going to add 4 there, and that gets us to 994. So that's one way that we could count from 580 all the way up to 994. And the thing is, the reason we call this an empty number line is, you see this hop right here represents 300. Well, this hop right here, which is about the same size as 90, and this hop is about the same size as 90, but this one's only 4. So the empty number line is these hops are not intended to be um, proportional. They're not supposed to show relative size. And the idea is, also, the cool thing is it develops number flexibility because our students don't have to all do the same kinds of hops. For example, I'll do this in blue. Um, if we wanted to, we could go add 100. That puts us, and I'm going to do it in blue. That adds us, gets us to 680. We can add another 100 and that gets us to 780. We can add another 100. That gets us to 880. We can add another 100. That can get us to 980. And then if we wanted to, we could do add 10. That gets us to 990. I'm going to squeeze that in. And then we can add four more and that gets us to 994. So there's a couple of different ways that we can um, show our hopping on this empty number line to go from 580 to 994. And that wraps up second grade module three, lesson nine, still using money, but connecting it to the place value and to the empty number line.